Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a little quick brow tutorial. So honestly, I just use one product, one brush, that's it, I'm done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of like twist it up a little bit and show you guys how to kind of really clean them up and kind of just show you what the possibilities are with my brows and what you guys could do at home. So as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on my beauty Instagram, which is at spiffed up. This is the username right here. Go and check it out. I do like side makeup looks and all of the face details for this makeup look here besides the eyes are gonna be there as well. All right, so without further ado, let's just get started with this quick little brow tutorial. So I'm gonna show you guys two products that I like to transition from. I'll either use a drugstore product for the day or I'll use a high-end product for that day. And the only reason why I like to do that is because I like to save on my products. Like, you know, because high-end products are pretty expensive. So for the high-end product, I am going to be showing you the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. And this is what we're going to be working with today. For the drugstore, I like to use the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the shade Espresso. So this is the darkest shade that they sell. But this is probably one of my favorite drugstore brow products. My favorite brow brush and the one that we're going to be using today in this little tutorial is the Morphe Brushes MB29 brush. This is a double-ended brush as you can see. So on this side it is a spoolie, on the other side it's the brush. So the spoolie is really great especially if you have really bushy or sparse brows that are kind of just like flying all over in every single direction. You can kind of take the spoolie and kind of brush them into the direction that you want. But like I said we are going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow today. I've had this for about a year and a half and pretty much gone. It's a little disgusting but this is what it looks like. So the first thing that I like to do is kind of just comb through my brows and I kind of just like to find the direction that they are going to be in. So I kind of make sure that the brow hairs that are in the inner portion of my brows are kind of combed upwards and then I'll kind of swoop it like that. So let's go ahead and zoom y'all in and show you guys what I'm gonna be doing. All right, so I went ahead and did one of my other brows already off camera, as you can see. So now we're gonna go ahead and do this brow because this brow is one of my better brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dip into the pot right here and kind of just pick up some of the product. So I'll probably start like right here. And I'm putting the brow like directly, the brow brush directly onto the brow. I'm not turning it on its side. I'm just putting it straight onto the brow. So I'm gonna start at this bottom arch right here. I'm gonna flick this to kind of create that tell that we wanna create. So once I kind of got that bottom part down and I got the tail shape down, like the point of it and stuff, I'm going to start at the highest peak of my brow, so where the arch is at its highest, and I'm going to start creating that arch and really define it. And I'm going to swoop it down. And then I'm going to start doing it at the top right here and really edging this and cleaning it up. And I connect the point up here at the top to the top part of the brow. And I'm putting a heavy hand whenever I'm doing this because I want it to be super pigmented. And I'm going to start defining that arch. I like a good arch, as you can tell on this side of the brow. I like a good arch. So next, I'm going to start right here at the, I would say, middle part of the brow, of the bottom part. And I'm going to slowly turn it on its side and kind of flick outwards and kind of just lightly coat these brow hairs that are in the inner part. I don't like to look, make it look like it's insanely like blocky but I just want to kind of give it a little color. I still want my natural brow hairs to kind of show through, so that's why we're not gonna put so much product on this part. And then right here at the bottom, I kind of like to do a quick little line just to kind of define that. And then I'm gonna take the spoolie once more and then kind of just diffuse these colors out just to make everything blend together. So for someone who's probably new to like doing brows and stuff, it's always good to kind of clean up around them, especially if you're a little messy with sometimes doing like the brow application. So all I like to do is to kind of clean up around my brows is just use a concealer. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25, and this is the shade that I take underneath my eyes, okay? So if, if, if it's like a little too light for you for underneath the brows, you can go back in with like your beauty blender and kind of just carefully stipple around um, your brow area just to make everything blend in nicely. And then I like to just take any type of flat brush that's kind of like a shader brush, uh, but this one's really nice because it's just straight and flat at the top, so it's going to be really perfect to kind of do that straight line. So I'm going to take very little, and then I'm going to clean up right here. And I personally don't clean up around my brows just because I like it looks a little messy that's kind of like my artistic style and also I'm just a little too lazy to kind of clean up around my brows and 
And all I'm doing is just kind of shaping them and kind of just cleaning up right around them. As you can see, you can take a little bit more concealer and take that onto the top. And I'm just going to kind of blend this out with my finger a little bit. And I'm taking a little bit of the concealer into the inner part here because it's going to give it like a nice little fade. I'm going to take my foundation brush. Yes, this is gigantic. But I'm just going to kind of take this and blend it out. A beauty blender would be definitely recommended. If you don't have one though, you can just definitely take your foundation brush. Alright, and then that is how I do my brows. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick toot. I know it might have been like past like six minutes. But I just want to show you guys what the possibilities are for your brows. So as always, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on my beauty Instagram. Once again, that's at Spiffed Up. And all the links will be down below, including previous videos and things like that. Alright guys, so until Friday, I will love you guys so much and I'll see you later. Bye!